What is going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring, your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. My name is Scott and if you're new here consider subscribing down below with those bell notifications on. And if you haven't already checked out our two social media pages make sure to do so by going to Instagram and typing Exploring Attractions and on Twitter at SoCal Exploring. There is some breaking news coming from the Disneyland Resort and some news that nobody expected at all. Disneyland is planning to expand both the Disneyland theme park and the Disney's California Adventure theme park and bring brand new lands and attractions to the existing Anaheim location. But there are a lot of hoops that Disneyland needs to jump through in order to bring this project to fruition. And Disneyland also teased us with the different possibilities that could be coming to these two expansions of the two theme parks and including a Frozen Land and a Zootopia themed land. So buckle in everybody because this is going to be a big breakdown of the entire project and exactly what this means for the Disneyland Resort. I do want to make this clear to everybody that this is not 100% confirmed that this project is going to happen. I'd say right now it's about 70%. It's pending approval by the city. Disneyland I'm sure is 100% ready to do the project, but Anaheim, the city of Anaheim, needs to approve this project before they can actually start developing attractions and developing their blueprints for bringing these two theme park expansions to life. On top of that, we also have a brand new downtown Disney expansion, kind of like how Disney Springs is over at Walt Disney World in Florida. But with that being said, let's get into the fun and exciting news. Imagine the possibilities. We want to bring more Disney investment to Anaheim. However, this simply isn't possible under current inflexible planning restrictions unless we remove and replace treasured rides and attractions in our parks today. Without updates, new Disney experiences and placemaking created from our beloved stories will likely never find their way to the Disneyland Resort as they have to other parks throughout the world. With Disneyland Ford and more flexibility within our existing properties, new lands and adventures like those underway at Tokyo Disney Sea and Shanghai Disneyland could inspire new experiences here. So let's break down that paragraph real quickly. What exactly does that mean? Well basically Disneyland's acknowledging the fact that you know without destroying old and existing attractions like potentially getting rid of Autopia or other attractions, there's going to be absolutely no way that they can expand on the two theme parks. There's no way that they're going to be able to bring any new lands, any new massive coasters, any new massive attractions for that matter, anything like that, unless they start destroying and replacing older attractions. And I'm actually quite happy that Disneyland is acknowledging that because most of you diehard Disneyland fans, some of them get really upset when they take old attractions and either change them up or replace them. But without doing that, they're never going to have room to expand or never have room to bring anything new to the Anaheim location. So for the people who haven't been accepting of the replacements and the refurbishments of some of these beloved attractions, I'd say give us a chance and give change a chance because at the end of the day, most change is good. And these parks are always going to be developing and they always need to develop. And if you notice, all the different theme parks, specifically Disney related, have been developing a lot more compared to Disneyland and Anaheim. And that is solely because they're too afraid to touch the old existing attractions. Now, on top of them replacing different attractions and different lands would also come these two expansions. Let's take a quick look at this piece of concept art that was released and see if we can notice any fine details. You can see the entrance to the expansion from California Adventure would be towards the back area where that boardwalk pizza is at and I'm assuming they just build some type of bridge to get to that expanded area with the Disneyland expansion it looks like they'd be using the critter country area and build a bridge somewhere along those lines and personally I think that'd be the perfect transition into this new expansion now let's take a look at the more detailed blueprint that Disney has provided for us you can see that the two expansions would be replacing the Simba lot which has been used for downtown Disney and the Lilo and Stitch parking lot that has been used for downtown Disney as well and the Disneyland hotel and the Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel would still stay there. They just kind of build these expansions around the two hotels. Also, one thing to note that Downtown Disney has gotten a little bit smaller on this blueprint. So essentially, everything beyond Jazz Kitchen would be gutted. So no more Earl of Sandwich, no more Rainforest Cafe, which we know it's a Star Wars trading post now, no more Lego store. But I don't think it's anything that Disney fans should be worrying about because they've also proposed a brand new Downtown Disney area 
to replace the Toy Story parking lot area, but we'll get into more of that a little bit later on in the video. The parking garage both Pixar Palace and Mickey and Friends look like they will stay the same, however they have proposed a brand new parking lot across the way from the other side of the resort. Now I don't know if that new parking is the small Pumbaa lot that's currently across the garden walk, or if it's just going to be an expanded version of the Pumbaa lot, or maybe they're trying to buy out some of the hotels there, some of the older hotels, so they can destroy those hotels and put new parking lots right there. I don't know, it's kind of interesting that they have that there. Now, like I said earlier, there have been different lands thrown out there that could be placed at California Adventure and at Disneyland, so let's go over a couple of them. For Disneyland, they're proposing that a Frozen themed land could come, a Tangled themed land, and a Peter Pan themed land. All of which are currently being built at the Tokyo Disney Sea Fantasy Springs project. For Disney's California Adventure, they're proposing a Zootopia themed land, a Toy Story land, and the Tron Light Cycle Coaster that we see at Shanghai Disneyland, and is also being built currently at the Magic Kingdom Park in Florida. One thing that's quite interesting to me is having the Tron Light Cycle run at California Adventure. You'd think that it'd be replacing Autopia over at Disneyland to fit with the Tomorrowland theme, but I mean, I guess it could fit somewhere in Hollywood Land at California Adventure, or maybe Zootopia would replace the Hollywood Land, or maybe even the Grizzly Peak area, or would Zootopia be saved for the expansion? I don't know, it kind of looks like for the California Adventure expansion, there's a whole lot of water there, so I don't think that the Zootopia Land's gonna feature water. I don't know, that's, that's just kind of interesting to me. It kind of looks like that would house the Peter Pan, and to give my honest thoughts on this i'm all for all these different themed lands coming to the expansion i don't care if they've been placed at different parks internationally or like if tron's coming to florida i'm just gonna be happy that they're closer to me in anaheim literally like 40 minutes away from me so when people go on twitter and say like oh haha ha, disneyland's not getting anything new I mean, for the Anaheim people and everyone who's local, it is something new to us and it's something that we can always attend and experience every single week. You know, whenever we want, we can go and experience it instead of going across the world or going across the country. And you know, I think I'm going to make a separate video on where I think everything would be placed. Just an early, early speculation because I really want to dive into what's going to be replaced at the Disneyland Park. Like, what are they planning to replace to bring these different experiences to life? Because yes, even though they're planning an expansion it surely is not enough room for three different lands slash attractions in those two expansion plots all right but now let's move into the brand new expanded downtown disney area slash disney springs themed area a new kind of disney entertainment destination this property could be the perfect location to cater to locals conventioners hotel and disneyland resort guests with restaurants hotels live music shopping ticketed shows and theme park experiences modeled after the popular disney springs at Walt Disney World Resort. Now this beauty would be placed in the Toy Story parking lot. If you don't know where that's at, it's like literally two minutes down the way from the entrance to the Disneyland Resort. So it seems like just from that little description that we got and the piece of concept art, they're really trying to push the Disney Springs vibe, which I'm all for. I think downtown Disney is kind of just all over the place right now. Yes, it is a shopping district, but I think that Disney wants to have something that's Disney owned, but also, you know, cater to locals who may not like going to the two theme parks but they want to go somewhere like Disney Springs and they're promising separately ticketed shows theme park experiences live music what could this mean for the separately ticketed shows are they like building a mini Cirque du Soleil theater like they have in Disney Springs no, in all serious, that's a little bit ambitious for Disney, especially Disneyland with the room that they have in Anaheim. I just think that's interesting that they included that in their little description. Aside from the Disney Springs shopping area, it also looks as if they're planning to build a new smaller hotel around that shopping district. The description does say hotels and not hotels, so could it be multiple hotels or could it be just one hotel with multiple different areas that there's rooms at? Maybe they're different buildings with different style rooms or maybe they're trying to turn this into a mini resort, which I think would be perfect for Disneyland because even though we have like the Disneyland hotel, it's not really its own resort. Same with Grand Californian. I feel like they need a set resort and I think this would be perfect. Maybe they could even call it the Disney Springs springs resort where you have the hotel but also connected to it you have the shopping and dining and every disney experience that you could imagine in this one location literally within two minute walking distance from you 
on the Disneyland Forward website. If you want to help this project come to fruition, then I'd encourage you guys to go to the website, which will be linked down below in the description, and you can click the little Get Involved tab. You can actually fill out a little form that says, I support the Disneyland Forward project, and this will further help get the approval from the city of Anaheim to let this project come to life. So this is big and exciting news, and I'm excited to see how this develops. I don't have a set year when I think this could, you know, start construction and when we can actually experience these different lands and, and attractions. But nonetheless, once more news comes out and starts to develop, I will for sure let you guys know on my social media and in a separate video. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving it a like down below. It's super easy and simple, and guys, it helps out the video a whole lot. And if you are excited for Disneyland Forward, let me know down in the comments section what you're most excited about. Are you excited about the Toy Story Land? Are you excited about the Peter Pan themed land? Let me know down below. My name is Scott from SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody. Bye.